Hello everyone. I am Dr. Padmavati Tungaturthi from Teach Connect. Today in this video, I will let you know how learning outcomes should be mapped onto the lesson in the textbook. Normally, there is a tendency for us to go lesson by lesson and see that we create aims of the lesson to be delivered. Now, it is more of student-centered learning. That is why we work on the learning outcome, how it is written. This book of learning outcomes, which are to be achieved by the student, are mentioned in a separate booklet. The link is being put in the description box for the teacher resource book. The teachers have a textbook with them. They have a learning outcome booklet, the teacher resource booklet. All the learning outcomes are to be mapped onto the lesson. That is, first the teachers have to go through the complete learning outcomes twice for one. Then, come back to the lesson and try to map what sort of learning outcomes are suitable for the lesson in the textbook. Let us go with the philosophy that we have to go lesson by lesson or unit by unit in the textbook. Underline all those learning outcomes which are suitable to the lesson. Sometimes two learning outcomes are suitable and sometimes three learning outcomes are suitable. Sometimes only one learning outcome is suitable. But never leave a lesson without a learning outcome. Otherwise, there is no policy of achieving something when the learning outcome is not being able to be measured. So, we have understood something. There is a learning outcome, a teacher resource book and there is a textbook. We got to map them. What are the units which are available? And in the teacher resource book, let us see that what learning outcome maps onto the textbook lesson. Now, very clearly, the learning outcomes are mapped onto the uh, textbook lesson. Many schools have a practice. I have been and visited a few schools. And I have understood that for one complete unit of a lesson, only one activity is being written. But that is not the case and that should not be the case. Every learning outcome which we have mapped on to the textbook should be broken down into specific learning outcome for the goal to be achieved. That means smaller goal 1, smaller goal 2, smaller goal 3 will lead to the major learning outcome. Every concept of specific learning outcome has to be in detail connected to the experiential learning activity. There are many pedagogical strategies, but let us now consider experiential learning factors. With that, we have to move the lesson forward and see that the learning outcome is achieved through this specific learning outcome. The order is this. The textbook lesson. Now we have mapped it onto the learning outcome. There is no lesson which is left off without any learning outcome. Break the bigger goal of the learning outcome into specific learning outcomes minimum three. Then execute every specific learning outcome with an activity plan giving the students an experience. Then comes the further linkage of interdisciplinary learning. That is how we need to move the lesson from the learning outcome to the experiential learning activity. This is only a part of the lesson plan which we have to consider. The rest of the lesson plan I will explain to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Otherwise, if I continue the complete lesson plan techniques in the same video, it might be overwhelming for a few teachers. So, this video consists of a small unit of the lesson plan making given by the CBSC norms. As per the national education policy, we continue with learning outcomes, mapping on to the textbook is a priority. But for now, for this academic year, let us map the learning outcome, match it with the textbook lesson, make specific learning outcome and create an activity for this. 
Thanks for watching my video. Share it to somebody. You need to share this video with many teachers as many as possible because learning the linkage between learning outcome as well as a textbook lesson remains a challenge for teachers if they do not do it well. Ultimately, the learning outcomes will not be achieved later on by the teachers and that will keep going on accumulated. That's why utilize this video. Go back, watch it again, twice for one and then you can understand the link between the textbook lesson, the learning outcome, the specific learning outcome as well as the experiential learning activity. Thanks for watching my video once again. Share it to your friend. Like my channel and subscribe to it.